So this roundtable discussion served as a real opportunity for educators to openly talk about the struggles that both students and teachers faced over the past school year. Some teachers even going as far as saying that 2021 was the worst year in the business for them, even worse than 2020. They were stretched thin. They were expected to essentially serve as mental health counselors for students at times. They asked about programs that would improve training for teachers and staff and if the federal government can direct more funds towards that and mental health support for educators too. Now, substance abuse in students and the fentanyl crisis adds a whole other layer on top of all that stress. Hear one teacher's experience from earlier this year. At my school, we had a fentanyl death this year. We lost a girl. She was at a slumber party and her friends found her. And then it kicked off a whole series of that group of girls, all, some of them attempting at school. The kids are not okay. And that's just absolutely heartbreaking to hear. Secretary Becerra outlined the new national resources that are going to be rolled out, including the new 988 program that's going to serve as the new suicide prevention hotline that will be rolled out this summer. You can catch that full discussion on Fox 31 Now. In our digital studio, I'm Alex Rose.